I don't decorate any differently than the way I dress. I like to layer, I like to mix it up, I like to combine disparate things, and I think in the end it is the most personal result. So if someone were to describe my work, uh, obviously we all want to be described as elegant, but comfortable and relaxed. I want to be relaxed at home, I want my clients to be relaxed in their homes, and I want my guests to be relaxed when they walk in the door. Oh, I'm so oh. happy to see you. Happy to see you too. <laughs> she picked everything we have. I knew you wouldn't disappoint. <laughs> Scott, what I love about you is look at you walk the walk. You are dressed exactly, I feel how you decorate, which is harmony, but some yin yang and some yeah. little against Like this does not go exactly with your amazing blazer. You know, we're, I'm kind of a pattern mixer from the, from the get go. So that thing that plays itself out in my design work and in my in my wardrobe. So yeah, it's, it, if it gets too studied, if it gets too perfect, it loses some of its vitality. Completely. So sometimes that like slightly off color just kind of gives the room and sometimes your wardrobe like, a, you. little, a little bit of spin and some motion. Tell me about your suit. Oh, the suit is uh, also made uh, in England by the tailors that I've had for hundreds of years. And I guess I have a few too many suits. Do you have your suits made custom yeah. from scratch? Forever. I love how you paired it with a white shirt. Very few men nowadays, I feel. Yes, they all have colored shirts. Yes, yeah. and yours is just so simple and classic and, yeah. and your wonderful tie. And those have them made at Chave. You always enjoy everything you have, just like in your rooms with fashion. I can tell you wear everything and you I appreciate do. everything. Yeah, I love it. And I think it's nice, nice to have, it's nice to have good things. And then they never, they never get destroyed. And they never disappoint. And never disappoint. So my sense of style relates to decorating uh, really from my childhood. When I was younger, I've always weighed about 20 pounds wet. So clothes never fit me. So I always had to have a lot of clothes made for me. And it's not a snob thing, it's, it's really just utilitarian. Most of my clothes I have made, my pants, my shirt, my jacket. Um, and what that's done is growing up having to make my own clothes, I've always had to choose the fabrics, I've had to choose the detailing, I've had to choose how things were gonna fit and where they were gonna be cut. And that's how I am in work. Um, with work, I love good fabrics. I love lots of really great detail. I like sumptuousness and I like things that fit. I'm not a guy who says, great, let's buy a stock standard seven foot or eight foot sofa and stick it in the room. If the best sofa is a nine foot, six inch sofa, I'm making a custom sofa. And that's how I like to work, that's how I like to dress. So Suisel and I are often known for our use of color and pattern in design, and I think we both also embrace that in fashion. Um, we love a room that has not just two colors and white, but, but a lot of colors. So the same thing goes with fashion. We always look for things that have great color combinations, and then we can layer accessories on top of that, um, much like what I'm wearing today. Um, our interiors are also known a lot for being granny chic, um, and I think this dress really exemplifies granny chic with the beautiful lace um, inverted pleat and the heavy tweed fabric. And we just think sometimes you look at a fabric or a piece of furniture that you feel nostalgic about and would have seen in your grandmother's house, but we might recover it or recolor the fabric to make it a little bit more updated. Okay, so um, trying to talk about my fashion in relationship to how I design uh, rooms. My style, usually how I dress, is very classic. Everything is um, sort of tailored, but then again, there's always a, a bit of quirkiness and something that's off. I wanted to do something in relationship to how I, I create rooms. Um, so that's where uh, I dip all of my pants after I cut them to the length that I want, so they won't fray. I dip them in um, rubber. And I just love the sort of effect that it gives. It's, you can even see that there's actual drip marks when it's drying, which I also do in a lot of projects where I, I um, drip paint on walls and plexi. There's always a dominant color, whether it's white or black or blue or red or green. Um, and that's sort of how I put together an outfit. It's all different shades of blue. When I'm getting dressed in the morning, um, it really depends on the day and the mood that strikes me. And sometimes I might be very feminine, and other times I might throw on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and sneakers. The same thing applies when I'm designing a room, meeting a client, seeing the space um, and the light. And some rooms really call for a more masculine tailored 
feel um, and some spaces really call for a very feminine, light, and airy feel. And um, always in my design, what makes it personal to me is the accessories or the details. Um, you know, the cord trim, the nail heads, the different textures are all what make an outfit or a room interesting. I've always been fascinated by aesthetics. Um, even as a child, I had very definitive opinions on what I wanted to wear. But I also was very interested in architecture and design. Um, I would make my mother take me to see the mansions in Newport. But I think that dressing up is sort of a, an act of respect to those around us. I think it's a celebration of life. And um, I, I just I hate when you go to the opera and you see people dressed up like they're going to the supermarket when all these musicians have put their heart and soul into sort of this performance. It's the least we could do to sort of put forth a bit of effort. You know, I, I take a similar approach to what I do in, in creating interiors, I try and approach it very much like a couturier of sorts and do very, very special things for people. And you know, as I do in, in, in how I dress, I like things that you know, look actually, even if they're not bespoke, they look bespoke and they're very special. I certainly love color, um, you know, and whenever I can, I love to sort of infuse a client's space with color and an interesting you know, sort of mix of, of patterns and plays on textures and, and things like that. I, there's, there's very similar principles about, I think, how one dresses to how one can dress a room, and um, I sort of incorporate those things uh, in each sort of circumstance, whether I'm dressing myself or I'm creating uh, an interior for a client.